This is Belle here, and I'm going to read you all Slinky Malinky by Lindley Dodd. Slinky Malinky was blacker than black, a stalking and lurking adventurous cat. He had bright yellow eyes and a warbling wail, and a kink at the end of his very long tail. He was cheeky and cheerful, friendly and fun. He'd chase after leaves and he'd roll in the sun. But at night he was wicked and fiendish and sly. Through moonlight and shadows he'd prowl and he'd pry. He crept along fences, he leapt over walls. He poked into corners and sneaked into halls. What was he up to? At night, to be brief, Slinky Malinky turned into a thief. All over town, from basket and bowl, he pilfered and pillaged, he snitched and he stole. Slippers and sausages, biscuits, balloons, brushes and bandages, pencils and spoons. He pulled them, he dragged them, he heaved them on tail, he carried them home to his house on the hill. One rascally night between midnight and four, Slinky Malinky stole more than before. Some pegs and a teddy bear dressed up in lace, a gardening glove from McCafferty's place, a tatty old sneaker a smelly old sock and Jennifer Turkington's pottery smock. A squishy banana, some glue and a pen, a cushion from Oliver Tulliver's den. A clock and some bottles, a pair of blue jeans, a half-knitted jersey, a packet of beans. He pulled them, he dragged them, he heaved them until he carried them home to his house on the hill. Then Slinky Malinky, Rap Scallion Cat, piled them up high in a heap on the mat. The glue toppled over and gummed up the pegs. The jersey unravelled and tangled his legs. He tripped on the bottles and slipped on the sock. He tipped over sideways and set off the clock. Crash went the bottles, beep beep went the clock, row 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 went the dogs on the block, on went the lights, bang went the door, and out came the family, one, two, three, four. Oh no, they all said, what a criminal cat, tomorrow we'll have to take everything back, with a tangled up middle and glue on his face. Slinky Malinky was deep in disgrace. Never again did he answer the call when moon shadows danced over garden and wall and whispers of wickedness stared in his head. He adjusted his whiskers and stayed home instead.